another statue, uh, another shipping pile. That's just the U Postal Service. Uh, we got more like back there hidden. But uh, this is what the video is for, and this is video two of the week. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you're in the cantina. If you don't, shame on you. I'm going to put in the description how to join the cantina on Facebook. And uh, Frankie Reborn is the statue we're going to do by Sideshow. This is a concept. This is concept stuff from uh, beautiful artist Olivia. I am not going to destroy her last name, but I'm just going to call her Olivia, which I've seen. Uh, some other stuff she does. Holy crap. She's an incredible artist. So they combine her talents with the talents of Sideshow and created a premium format statue of, uh, you know, Bride of Frankenstein meets the Hooker of Frankenstein. Whatever. You, know, you, you can do whatever you want. I like it. It's something different. The colors are beautiful. I think if the box is right. What's inside should be exactly the same thing. And uh, let's She's open put it together. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Pretty simple to put together. And uh, yeah, she's gorgeous. Just push her out a little bit there. Everything looks like metal, but it's not. There's not a single metal piece in here. This piece here, yes, it does turn. Uh, a little detail there, but it is plastic. But this is plastic. The shoulder clamps, the head clamp, I guess those are the wrists and those. Um, the leg clamps, they're all plastic, but the paint job on it is fantastic. Kind of a steampunk look, of course. And um, yeah, it is. Uh, it fits very well with the uh, base, which is polystone. So the base is solid. These pieces are magnetized in place, plastic, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't care because they fit well with the statue and they look Fantastic. They look like metal. They're not cheap. They're not plastic looking. So here's some details on her wraps. Beautiful tattoo there. And uh, the portrait's fantastic. Yep. Very beautiful. It's just one of those unique pieces, you know. It's just, uh, they're not going to make these uh, very often. And, uh, and let's do the back of her. See what I'm talking about? Very industrial, very... Very steampunk, I guess that's a word. I don't know if people still use that, but not that big too. It's a, I say it's a average medium sized statue. It's not really crazy, but that's about it. Very simple. Oh, another thing here too, guys, if you're into, I know a lot of guys don't like seams and stuff. There is a pretty solid one that goes through here, but it looks like her hairline really. But in other angles, looks like they put her together that way. Just in case you don't like the seams. I don't, it doesn't bug me at all. And there's not much really to say about this one, except if you like unique stuff, uh, kind of universal monster, kind of steampunk again. I know I've said that word a million times. Please shut up. And uh, you will like this statue. All right. Another one tomorrow. I'm going to put this one up somewhere yonder in the sideshow area for sure. Because I uh, sold a couple pieces and we're bringing in the new ones for the next event next summer. If you haven't heard about that either, that's because you're not in the cantina. Get in there. See you guys.